All right, hello everyone. This is gonna be a tutorial on how to set up Time Machine on your Synology NAS. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into Control Panel and create a new share folder by going to Control Panel, Shared Folder, and Create. I'm gonna call this one Backup and you can choose these things. I would disable the recycling bin because it will take care of that and hide it. You can choose to an encryption here. However, it's probably easier to go through Time Machine. If you've used BTRFS, you can use this and you're going to want to use a shared folder quota. Otherwise, your backups will fill up your entire NAS. This generally should be about two to four times your drive space. And give it the usual permissions. So once we've done this, we're now gonna to wanna to go into file services, enable AFP service, then go to advanced and under bonjour, select enable time machine broadcast via AFP. Or if you're using SMB, use this one. Set the time machine folder as whichever one you're gonna use. So once you've done that, you're gonna to want to open your settings. From settings, you wanna go down to time machine, select disk, and select your available disk. Here's where you can set your backups to be encrypted. So select it. It's gonna ask you for your password. So after that, it's gonna take a very long time. I would highly recommend plugging your computer in, if at all possible, during this time. Otherwise, you will take days. So now, once you've used your backup, here's how you can access it. Go to the Time Machine icon up here, and click Enter Time Machine. And you'll be able to go back as far as you have backup still. Over here on the side is your timeline where you can access every single backup of that drive. I have noticed over Wi-Fi, these will sometimes take a while to load in. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know any other videos you'd like me to make in the comments below. Bye.